Hey there, tech people. Today I'm going to show you how to control a NeoPixel LED ring wirelessly with an ESP32. We will need an ESP32. Any version will work. I'm using a dev version with 38 pins, a NeoPixel or any RGB LED ring. I'm using one with 16 LEDs an external power supply because those LEDs can draw some serious power. Got them all? Awesome. Now let's dig into the setup. Since we are using an external power supply, we will program the ESP32 before we make all the connections. Open Arduino IDE. The code link is in the description. Download the code and open the project. You'll notice that there are two files in the project. I have kept all the web server HTML code in a separate file to make the project easier to read and maintain. So if you need to make any changes to the web server page, do it here. Next in our Arduino code, we start off by including the required libraries. The Adafruit NeoPixel library to control the LEDs, then the Wi-Fi and web server libraries. Library links are in the description too. Then at last, include the web server's code. Here, set the pin that is connected to the data pin of the LEDs. Then set your Wi-Fi name and password. In the setup function, we start the LEDs here and set the initial brightness. Then we connect to Wi-Fi. I have written a function to handle that. Next, we set the callbacks for the web server. First one is to send the entire web page. The next one is received when you select different settings like all or individual pixels. The next one is triggered when you select individual pixels and they are stored for use. The last one is triggered when you change the color and it checks the current settings and change colors accordingly. Then we initialize the server. Upload the code. Once the ESP32 restarts and connects to the network, it will give you its IP address. Note this down. Setting up the hardware is straightforward. First, connect the external power supply. I'm using a 5 volt 2A wall adapter. Connect positive to the VIN pin and ground to ground of the ESP32. Then, connect the NeoPixel ring to the ESP32. We'll hook up the power pins to the external power and the data pin to GPIO2. Once you give it external power, it will probably connect and acquire the same IP as before. This can only change if your network has added or removed any devices in the gap. Open the IP address on any device on the same network. I'm using my mobile here, so it's easier to show you guys. Let's talk about the web page's design. I wanted a unique and interactive experience, so I thought, why not create a circular interface that matches our LED ring? You can set the LEDs in different modes and choose from a full range of colors. Let's see it in action. In individual mode, you can select and set the colors of the individual LEDs. Click on the numbers to turn them on or off. In the single mode, you can set the colors of the individual LEDs. The last mode lets you turn on and control the entire ring. That's it. A simple yet fun Arduino project to learn about web servers and NeoPixel lights. Comment if you made something like this. And as usual, a like and subscribe would be amazing.